Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So I've been playing some more Monster Hunter World and in this video I'm just going to very quickly show you how you can activate the element on your weapon. You may notice that you've been creating elemental weapons, as example the one I've got here has uh, element sleep on it, yet it's greyed out and doesn't work. Well in this video I'm going to show you what you need to do. Now in order to activate the element on this you will have to have a skill on a certain part of uh, equipment or charm that will actually unlock this uh, hidden feature. Now I'm just going to show you which set you're going to need to craft. You will have to do the Zora Magdaros uh, mission and have to maybe grind over that a few times to be able to get the parts you're going to need. If I just change my equipment over to my uh, Zora Magdaros set it can then show you that if I go to the Zora Claws, notice here it says there's a skill free LM or element uh, ammo up. So unlocks your weapon's hidden element. Also increases uh, bow gun loading capacity. Well, it says it draws out 33% of your hidden element. So that's what we're going to want to do. So now when we go to the sword, notice there now the element it says 80. So the attack of that Bone Reaper sword. It's 571 uh, but the element is unlocked 80 damage from the sleep element now you can increase that more by crafting one of the charms so if we go back to the smithy and if we go to forge equipment and then go down to charms there is a charm down there that does have that on it so let's just find it and then we can have a look at what elements or what items you're going to need to be able to create it and again this would then increase the amount of damage that your element would do on your weapon if you then there it is so it's called the awakening charm it does give you the option so if you was to craft this and then run this at the same time as the Zora Magdaros uh, Claws, you're then going to draw out 66% of your hidden element. Now potentially as time goes on you may be able to get a, uh, something that's going to increase that at, to level 3. But at this point I need to get a Zora Magdaros Gem and an Aqua Core Ore. Well, the best way to get the Zora Magdaros uh, elements is just to keep farming over the quest uh let's have a look if we've got any in here uh, we're, we're, we're obviously recording this live at this point so at this time of day there may be no one doing this particular mission but if we go into sos and just go to zora magdaros and then search to see if there's any there now there's not i mean usually you will find if there we go there's one now there now so one for the history books is one that you can play over and over again um where you can just uh, go and drop in and help people with the sos uh, quest you may get it pop up a couple of times yourself uh, every now and then when you can just rinse it out but if you just keep uh, farming that you're going to hopefully get enough parts to be able to make the uh, the claws and the charm because potentially that's all you need really so there you go guys hopefully that's helped you figure out why the element on your weapon isn't activated and how to activate it and if that is the case please do give the video a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to help it grow really is appreciated and just watch this space for more monster hunter world thanks for watching